Bing, bong, All right, bing, bong, so first of all, do you want to introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Aileen Shaw. I go to University of California, Berkeley, and I am majoring in molecular and cell biology with an intended major in business. My name is Elijah. I'm a freshman at UC Berkeley. I'm studying molecular cell biology and business administration, and I'm in PBL, which is a premier business club at UC Berkeley. Death row meal, lobster, sushi, maybe just a three-star Michelin meal. I'm Janelle. I'm a freshman trying to major in stats and maybe minor in public policy. I'm in the STEM Ed Club in Berkeley, so we just volunteer at elementary school and teach STEM curriculum to them. My death row meal, Popeyes. I really like Popeyes. Something like that. My name's Andy Kim. I'm intending to major in CS. I'm in Upsync Consulting Group. Death row meal, rice and like meat, raw broccoli. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Jason. I'm planning on majoring in business admin and data science. And then on campus, I'm involved in social impact consulting, so um, 180 degrees consulting. And then I was also part of the ASUC president's office. My death row meal, fried rice. I ate that stuff growing up. I think it would be nice if that was my last meal, you know. Okay, hi, I'm Sophia. I'm intending business or poly econ with the minor in data science. Cause I'm involved with is student advocate office, which is part of the ASUC, legal clinic, Berkeley model UN, global research and consulting. I'm also doing research on campus. Death row meal, I just like, like, you know, the sushi boat. I extra expensive with uni. Hi, my name is Kimberly. I'm a first year at UC Berkeley intended public health. Um, current clubs I'm involved in is BSA, Cal, UPHC. I'm doing research for Abbott right now. Death row meal, my mom's boom room. It's like a crab tofu soup. What's good gang? I'm Tejas Fabatia. I am math and CS and maybe intended ORMS. On campus involvements, I'm involved in 180 Degrees Consulting, Berkeley Math Tournament, MI2 at Berkeley. I have a tech internship on campus and then a research with the NLP Q&A form. And my death row meal, gummy worms. I would eat that right. to death so that they don't have to kill me. My name is Sydney Russell. I'm planning on majoring in political economy as a pre-law student. I'm in a consulting group on campus, like TBG, Berkeley group, shout out. Death row meal, boba and probably tteokbokki. Or a home cooked meal for my yeah. So first question is, what made you choose Berkeley? It might be bad, but I chose Berkeley because it's one of the best schools that I got into. Berkeley is known for its like academic rigor. I kind of wanted to put myself in an environment where I was constantly being pushed. Kind of embarrassing. Berkeley was the only school that I got into. Um, Stanford didn't want me. It's like the perfect distance from home because I'm from SoCal. So it's just an hour flight away. But at the same time, my parents won't call me home every single weekend. I really like their like math program location. So I'm from Milpitas is pretty close so I can go home pretty often. Uh, social life is really vibrant. There's a lot of parties all the time. I chose Berkeley. It was my dream school but I only applied to in-state school but I got rejected from UCLA and UCI. Because I'm from SoCal, I would have chose UCLA or UCI but I got into Berkeley and I was like, yeah, I'm committing. Like, this is where I wanted to go most. A combination of like major offerings and then also the location. I just wanted to get far from home. Thought I'd try California for a change. I received like the Regent Scholarship which is a great benefit and that would definitely like motivate motivated me to come here because of the money and also just having priority enrollment. Also, like, I'm from SoCal, so I wanted to get out of SoCal, like, but now I kind of miss SoCal. Because it was the only good school, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I only applied to in-state schools and I wanted to stay close to my family. What dorm do you currently live in and what do you like the most and like the least about your dorm? I live in Unit 2, Ermin, and what I love about it is the people on my floor and also the view. Our view is like arguably the best view out of all Berkeley dorms because we face the bay. The worst. Yeah. Probably the broken elevator and like how slow it is. I live in Clark Kerr right now. I like it because the rooms are pretty big and there's a huge common area for each of the suites, but that's obviously different if you get assigned to res hall. Cons are it's super far and it takes like 16 minutes to get to campus. It's really sucky if you're not part of like greek life or athlete it's going to be a bit tough to find a community to really vibe with i'm in okay. unit one cheney what i like the people what i dislike the people so i live in foothill student housing the stereotype is that foothill you know is full of stinky cs kids i think it's pretty true i think foothill's like really naturistic i can guarantee that you'll see at least a raccoon deer or turkey at some point and it's just an overall quiet place to be i'm in unit two so unit two is like it's basically unit one but like a bit farther less renovated farther from campus than you think especially if you're in like a rush to go to class it's just kind of old okay so i lived in foothill at first which is another dorming location it's a 15 minute walk from downtown
downtown, like a south side. I didn't like Foothill just because I didn't, like it was very socially incompatible with me. And I spent every night basically in the units and then I'd have to walk back to Foothill. I requested a room transfer, got transferred to my unit three triple. Yeah, unit three, rooms are not great. My room flooded and maintenance never got back to us. So now my parents are worried that there's mold in our room and our elevator stops working probably twice a month. Aside from that, I think the people there are really nice. I think unit three is a good option because it's closest to campus. I'm in unit one. I'm in a double in Cheney. It's really spacious for the two of us. We didn't get the best view. It's just like overlooking the hockey field. Our room gets really stuffy for some reason. I live in unit three. Everyone shits on unit three. It's a lot more social. I live in Priestley floor two. The floor two shower is so nice. The hot water just pumps out like every time I go there. It's so nice. One con is a little bit crusty and musty. The heaters don't work as well. I live in unit two. I live on the eighth floor. So I think one of my favorite things is the view. It doesn't feel super lonely to have a lot of people with you. One thing I don't like about it, there's like almost no access to a, a kitchen. I wash my hands a lot. I hate having to leave my dorm every single time I want to wash my hands. Based on that, then what would you rate your freshman experience on a scale from one to ten? Honestly, like an eight and a half. I give it a solid 8 out of 10. 8. Honestly, a 10. 7.5. A 7. 8.6. 8 and a half. Mm -hmm. I think it's honestly just because my first experience in college, a lot of like new things that made it fun, meeting new people. Like, you just realize that so many people are like really, really interesting. It is to Asian very good. Just generally coming in here, didn't know a lot of things. I was like quite confused. And then high school was like, because of COVID, like wasn't the best experience possible. I was able to adjust relatively quickly. I kind of quickly found groups of people that I really vibe with. There's a lot of fun experiences. Obviously there is stress and like every week is different, like in terms of workload and how much fun and how much stress there is. So freshman year at Berkeley has been the best year of my life just because I found the people that I connect with the most and I also figured out what I want to do in life. I feel like first semester I didn't take advantage of the clubs as much. I think the dining hall is very hit or miss. Sometimes they have like really good food and sometimes most of the time it's kind of bad. First semester hella fun, super nice. Second semester one of my regrets is just because I'm super spontaneous so I haven't really been able to do like a lot of spontaneous trips this semester. Last year it would be, be like oh yeah weekend let's go to SF right now like on the spot let's go. This semester I haven't really been able to do that because of all the work. It's just, at first coming in, I was kind of anxious. I feel like everybody else was, but I was able to find my right friend group. So being able to do that really helped me to get situated. I feel like my first semester was 10 out of 10. I made so many good friends and I think I adjusted pretty well to the college life. I think second semester, I was more focusing on classes that kind of brought it down. Yo, I think we got to categorize this. I think like socially, freshman year for me was a solid 10 out of 10. Academically, I'd give it like a six. General mental health wise, I'd give it around a four. For. So for social reasons, I think Berkeley has a really unique experience to offer people. Everyone from every corner of the world is here. Academically, it's hard. And I came from a very like academically easy, academically non-challenging school in the middle of nowhere. Because of that, I was not prepared for how difficult Berkeley would be. And then mental health, it's just hard. Everyone's smart. And then you come here and you're like, fuck, I don't know what I'm doing. It sucks. But like also, I think you need to fail in order to succeed later in life. So it's okay. And then what shocked you the most after coming to Berkeley. It's actually not as competitive as people say. Honestly, it's really chill if you just go to classes, you meet a lot of new people. The gendered restrooms. <laughs> I'd be peeing and then there's like a guy next to me. Like, but what's also shocking is like how much of a party school Berkeley is. Like, you would think Berkeley is like a bunch of smelly like CS nerds, but it's not. People be partying <laughs> every single night. The club culture, just be prepared for that. You'll get multiple interviews for the clubs and you'll not get into probably most of the clubs that you want to. Honestly, how much it was like my high school <laughs> academics wise, how wrong the stereotypes about Berkeley were. Coming into Berkeley, you may think like everyone's like super accomplished. It's like, it's not true. Everyone's just as accomplished as you are and you deserve to be here. You didn't accidentally get in here by luck. The effort you've put in throughout your time in high school that got you into this place. People here, cause they just are like the craziest like talent, like really talented people. Just like a lot of different interests. Like my seatmate is a sync girl swimmer for the national team. And it always shocks me just like how everyone comes from such different backgrounds and they have all these hidden talents. Club culture. I can't here and I was like, oh yeah, like it's like high school, you know, we're joining a club. No, 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 no. Fill an application, give some essays, write like three rounds of interviews, social, everything. But it's funny because they beg you to apply and then they just reject you. At the start of the semester, they always have like this tabling thing going on. And I swear to God, they're really good at their job because I'll walk through campus and like by the end, I'll have flyers in my pocket that I didn't even know people put there. I didn't think I would change much. There, there are definite things about me that if you 
shown Sydney this time last year, she would have been absolutely appalled. Those changes are good. And I just think it's having the ability to experience them. That for me is what I did not expect. I think this is more like a lifestyle thing. College just in general is a lot more spontaneous because at Berkeley, there's like, we go on Sprout, there's like 20 different things going on. And then what is your favorite memory after coming to I don't have a single favorite memory, but it's just a bunch of memories that combine to make this whole experience really meaningful. Definitely Halloween. Haunted house was really funny. I also went to Bulls for the first time. This party, that was very fun. Oh, Hojin. Hojin was fun. One of the bigger highlights. Trips with my friends. The cherry blossom trip that we went to, that was really fun. Short trips with your friends is really nice. And I pulled like an all-nighter with everyone on my floor, and we just explored campus at like 3 a.m. And it was the most exhilarating life ever. It was just so fun, just like running around. Is meeting the girl on the other side of the camera, my pretty girlfriend. That's one of my favorite memories, September 3rd, because that's when I actually asked her out. We took the ferry to San Francisco, which was really fun. I remember going out a lot and I had a good time like on the boat. It was like the first time I had a good meal since coming here, honestly. But In general, just like hanging out with my floor mates, staying up till 2 a.m. Late night conversations with people really close to me. You call someone and you're like, yo, what are you doing? You either go to like study in Moffitt or you go to their dorm. Like you're there just to be there for like five minutes. You're there just to work. You have some of the most enlightening, insightful conversations that you've ever had. One of our friends had a birthday. And then we just decided to drive to SF because like one of our friends had a car. It ran around like Salesforce Tower like in the middle of the night and then we drove back. What is the greatest challenge you faced after coming to Cal? Time management is very hard. Time management in general. Time management. Do you have to go to classes? Usually not. They're not mandatory. Do you have to choose, like pick and choose, kind of weigh yourself? It is very academically rigorous. And the burnout, especially right now when it's like warming up, it's much nicer yeah. and like finals week is coming up. Accepting the fact that there's always Always gonna be someone way smarter than you not just by a little that you can catch up to you're still gonna do great because you're at the number one public school my math 1b class last semester it was pretty intense but i had a really good professor i took an adjunct which helped a lot adjunct is like a support class they just kind of review old lecture material they give you supplement quizzes to kind of check up on how you're doing and for me that helped a lot finding that time for your social life also work life to get those grades because berkeley's kind of like a hustle culture hard to like not base your mental health and like your worth on productivity. Learning to focus on yourself, Netflix and chill, and that's a really millennial thing to say. <laughs> focus on yourself, self-care. It feels like everybody's in this rat race. Your resources are extremely limited, so you're always trying to compete for that one spot. Ask, ask yourself like, why am I doing this? And find the real reason why you're here. My academics are really hard. And I think that if you don't have the best supportive mindset going into it, it gets really difficult. At some point in your life, you're going to walk into a room and be the least capable person in that room. You you can't fear failure because it's just an opportunity to prove yourself. It's touching grass. I'm a CS major. It's really hard. Get out, get your vitamin D, touch that grass. I named one pro and one con of Berkeley after your first year. There's this like thing where people are like, oh, Berkeley's toxic. Especially like Berkeley CS. They always say like, oh, Berkeley CS is toxic. It's lucky not. If you find the right group of people, it's super chill. No one really cares that much. It's just all of us trying to like wade through it together because they lucky don't help you that much in CS. They throw you into the ocean and expect you to wade your way out. So then we all link arms and wait our way out. Okay, definitely the academic rigor, opportunities, research opportunities especially, and just like everyone is super motivated so you do feel like, well, I need to also like initiate and join things. That's definitely a pro, but the cons are definitely the stress and the fact that like quality of life is definitely not as high as some other schools that might have better dining hall and like living kind of can negatively affect your mental health and therefore your productivity. So that's something to also consider. If you like come out of Berkeley, I really think that you'll be like, the best person that you can be. It creates an environment where you can guarantee that you'll be pushed to your full potential. You can always rely on each other to support you in terms of academically or you're trying to get an internship. The classes for sure, like I learned so much in all of them. All my professors so far were really good. Academically, I got my money's worth. It's the people. I think people can say that about any college, of course. Like I'm sure people at every single college will say yes. People around me at this school like make it better. I think that there's a certain certain caliber of people that get into Berkeley and I think having the opportunity to get close to them and have these bonding experiences with them I think is something that I am personally always grateful for. Campus community is huge. No matter what you like, who you are, like what you're interested in, pretty much always find people with similar hobbies. If you do try hard enough and you do make an effort to do that, you will find those people. You meet like insane people here. Just They just want to change the world for a better place, I feel like. There's a lot 
lot of people that you can like share your passion there's a lot of clubs that are specified in different fields i don't know if you'll get into one of them hopefully you do and you'll make great people there i guess a con sometimes it's humbling being here <laughs> sometimes the condition of like just the area that you live in especially berkeley is sometimes it's tough on the mental health like your safety is almost like overlooked a little bit so much competition so resources might be limited so you really just have to put your foot in and actually put an effort to meet new people, to talk to people, to network, to get the opportunities that you need. The area, so like downtown and south side can be kind of scary. Um, so just make sure you're always out with other people. The school's kind of dirty. The homeless population, it's not a huge issue. It's not as huge as people make it sound. It's definitely scary when you're walking back like 1, 2 a.m. from a library. And all the warn me is also absolutely terrifying. You might have to wait like 20 minutes to get a plate of food. Gym is always crowded, especially like beginning of every semester. The admin doesn't really care about you. And there Are there reasons? Resources, yes, but like, you have to go and find them yourself. Professional development opportunities, like you kind of have to sign up for those yourself. There's such a large teacher to student ratio. It's hard to like get a hold of faculty, and usually when you ask them for something, like they'll always be busy, and it's usually like everything ends up going to like the GSIs or the TAs, and they're always overworked. Definitely the food, dining hall food is very bad. Just like housing problem overall. Han, it's just the living and dining situation. There's literally a whole fire. Unit three. What advice do you have for? If you're a light sleeper, bring your plugs. <laughs> don't come in with a preconception. Just be open-minded because don't take things too seriously. Manage your time. Don't overload your schedule. Don't come here. I'm kidding. Come here. Berkeley's great. College experience is as it is. You know, it's a party school at the same time. Not like as partying as other schools, but we have fun. Only live in a dorm once in your life at Berkeley, like only for one year. Just make the most of it. Get close to people on your floor. Things will work themselves out in the end. Easy to get stressed. I, I think in a lot of those times, I just had to sit it out. Do the best I can, right? If a door closes like another one open. I couldn't imagine myself making this other decision or joining another club. Don't stress that much. Stressing is also really bad for your skin. Really just be yourself. Don't try to put on a mask and you'll find the right people that you fit in with. You'll have a great time. Get ahead of like your classes. Get on top of it and if you can, preview the materials that are about to come. There are going to be moments where you don't want to work and then you kind of fall behind. But if you're on top of your stuff, there's that cushion where like you can lay off. Whereas like if you like procrastinate, you're fucked. Try to get to know everyone, like keep an open mind about everyone. Get to meet a lot of new people throughout the whole year, not just like the first week. I think academically, I use Notion, which I think helps a lot. You get everything on track. It's not that deep. It was never that deep. Don't take it that seriously. Once you've made that dumb decision, you can't go back. Like you can't erase the fact that that decision is now part of your timeline. Be careful with the people that you surround yourself with and recognize also college is a way to improve yourself. And if you feel like while you're here that you're not actively improving yourself, maybe you need to think a little bit more deeply, reconsider what you're doing here, work towards yourself, realign yourself in a way that is most conducive to your goals. Just get involved. Like honestly, like freshman year, like your classes are not that hard if if you're not STEM, obviously, but like definitely just like do fun things. Like my friend's like a bio E major, but she has like effects, dance, do weird things do crazy things and get involved I know this sounds crazy but everything's been lately how's your dogs been doing and your daddy and mommy I'm not drunk or anything I call in peace